I constantly see auto detailers offering 10 different packages to their customers titled the gold package, the premium detail, the supreme wash and wax. And when I ask myself, why do so many detailers do this? The only answer I could come up with is that they see everyone else doing it so that they think that it works, but it doesn't. There are two primary reasons why detailers have such a difficult time making packages. Number one, you're doing a lot of different things in any given detail, leather treatment, windows, carpet shampoo. And because you don't know which one of those your customers want and which ones they don't want, you create a bunch of different packages to give them different combinations of each of those things so they can choose what they want. And secondly, as detailers, we assume that different customers want different levels of clean. Some people are okay with 30% carpet shampoo, some want 100% perfection. And to compensate for this, most detailers create a bunch of different packages that offer different levels of clean to try to satisfy some idea of what certain customers want versus what certain customers don't want. So here's where detailers can learn from Chick-fil-A when we're creating our detailing packages. When you look at the Chick-fil-A menu, the first thing you see is a Chick-fil-A sandwich with waffle fries. It's called the number one. This isn't an accident. It's the most commonly ordered menu item that Chick-fil-A offers. Now take a look at all the menu items offered after the number one. All of those menu items are different variations of the number one. A spicy chicken sandwich, a chicken sandwich with cheese, chicken nuggets, chicken strips. There are subtle changes made to each menu option, but each one of them has the same fundamental in common, chicken and french fries. So why does Chick-fil-A do this? It's because they've established a baseline of what their customers want. It would be really difficult to have a bunch of customers come in and every time they talk to the person at the register, the Chick-fil-A employee asks what kind of meat they wanted and how many ounces they think would make them feel full. Think about it like this. At Chick-fil-A, you're ordering food, but a category like food is so broad, Chick-fil-A has to establish a baseline of decision-making in order to get the customer to make a decision. And if they try to make a customer make a decision below the baseline, they're going to lose them because there are so many options and the customer really doesn't know what it is that they want. But if you allow them to make a decision above the baseline, not only is it easy to close them as a customer, but it's easy to sift through what it is they do and don't want. Most detailers are making their customers make decisions below the baseline and they lose the sale before it ever starts because of the way their package is formed. They have one package that includes spot treatment and another package that includes carpet shampoo and yet another package that includes one vacuum versus two vacuums. And the problem is customers do not know how to distinguish between these types of decisions. It would be like Chick-fil-A asking me how long I want my chicken to be cooked in the fryer before I eat it. I wouldn't know how to make a decision like that any more than my detailing customers know how to choose between the Supreme package with carpet shampoo versus the gold package with two vacuums. Establish what the baseline packages look like for both interior and exterior. Then we can talk about what it looks like to offer more specific things to customers who want something slightly different. Now this leads me into the second major issue detailers have when creating packages. Let's go back to the Chick-fil-A example. What happens when a customer at Chick-fil-A orders a menu item, but they want something slightly different than what that specific menu item offers? For example, they order a chicken sandwich, but they don't like pickles. Well, that specific order largely stays the same except for one thing. The pickles are taken off the sandwich. Well, if people are ordering the chicken sandwich with no pickles, why doesn't Chick-fil-A make an entirely separate menu option called the Chick-fil-A sandwich with no pickles? It's because they don't have to. They got the baseline correct, the chicken sandwich. And because they got the baseline correct, it's easy for their customers to make small adjustments to existing menu items. They don't need a separate menu item to make the decision. Now, what's the other important note about the pickles to no pickles decision? It's that that particular decision is binary. There's an A option and there's a B option, but no one is asking the customer how thinly sliced they want their pickles to be and where exactly on the bun they want the pickles to be put. I see detailers offering their basic package with a quick vacuum and a light carpet shampoo versus their supreme package, which is a long vacuum and an in-depth carpet shampoo. How is the average customer supposed to decide if they want a deep carpet shampoo or a light carpet shampoo? And more importantly, how are you as the detailer going to meet their expectations when you're finished with the light carpet shampoo if they didn't have the picture of what that is before you ever started? Easy binary decisions. Do they want carpet shampoo? Yes or no? Do they want a clay bar treatment and exterior protection? Yes or no? Then when I establish the baseline, I can make small adjustments and price that particular job according to what it's going to take with their particular carpet and with their particular car paint. Because the alternative that detailers are doing is giving their customers three or four ambiguous options and crossing their fingers hoping that they're on the same page by the time the detail is done. If you want to immediately improve the packages that you're offering to customers so that those packages actually contribute to closing the customer, establish a baseline and don't ask the 
the customer how thinly they want their pickles sliced. Just ask them if they want them or they don't want them. Now to round this all out, let me explain why this actually matters for your business. Chick-fil-A offers significantly fewer menu items than basically any other fast food chain and yet they're one of the most profitable and most successful. Why is that? As a detailer, when I offer fewer menu items, I can actually start to think about scale. Because I have fewer menu items, I'm offering largely the same thing and therefore the same approach to most details that I do. That means things can start to get systematized. No matter what car I'm dealing with, no matter how dirty or clean, the approach largely remains the same with slight adjustments customer to customer. I'm not vacuuming one person's carpets and then using fabric paint on the next person's carpet. Back to Chick-fil-A. I can order one sandwich, four sandwiches, or 12 sandwiches, but the approach stays the same. They might give me more food or less food than the last customer, but they're still giving me the same type of food. And secondly, and I don't know why nobody talks about this in the detailing world, but systematizing operations in a service-based business is actually what allows you to scale services. When operations can get centralized and systematized, the business can begin to actually scale. So how do you centralize and systematize your services? One of the easiest ways is to create packages where customers are only making decisions about things above the baseline. So guys, that's what we as auto detailers can learn from how Chick-fil-A has started and scaled their very simple operation. Yes, they sell food, but in many ways we can adopt the systems that they're implementing into a service-based industry and start to systematize, centralize, and think about how to actually scale the operations we're offering our customers. Guys, if you got some value here, make sure to scale up the like button by clicking it along with everybody else watching this video because it lets me know this was good content for you. And if you're a detailing business owner, leave me a comment below this video and just say, hey, this makes sense or you're absolutely crazy, all right? Guys, thank you so much for being involved. As always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, remember, a great detailer is always learning. And I will see you guys in the next video.